watching our SKR Universe channel. Today we talk about the Star Types Part 2. If you don't see Star Types Part 1, click I button and see full video. So let's me start our video. Now the main sequence star is Young Stars. Main sequence stars are the central band of stars on the Hertzberg-Russell diagram. These stars' energy comes from nuclear fusion. As they convert hydrogen to helium, most stars, about 90% are the main sequence stars. For these stars, the hotter they are, the bigger they are. The Sun is a typical main sequence star. Dwarf stars. Dwarf stars are relatively small stars up to 20 times larger than our Sun and up to 20,000 times brighter our Sun is a dwarf star. Hello dwarf. Hello dwarf or small main sequence star. The Sun is also a hello dwarf. What is red dwarf? A red dwarf is a small, cool, very faint main sequence star whose surface temperature is under about 4000 Kelvin. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf. Giant and super giant stars, old large stars. Red giant. A red giant is a relatively old star whose diameter is about 100 times bigger than it was originally and become cooler than the surface temperature is under 6500 K. They are frequently orange in color. Betelgeuse is a red giant. It is about 20 times as massive as the sun, about 14,000 times brighter than that sun, and about 600 light years away from the earth. What is blue giant? A blue giant is a huge very hot blue star. It's a post main sequence star that burns helium. What is super giant? A super giant is the largest known type of star. Some are almost as large as our entire solar system. Betelgeuse and Rigel are super giants. These stars are rare. When super giants die, they become supernova and become black holes. Faint virtually dead stars. White dwarf. A white dwarf is a small, very dense hot star that is made mostly of carbon. These faint stars are what remains after a red giant star loses its outer layer. The nuclear cores are depleted. They are about the size of the earth but tremendously heavier. They will eventually lose their heat and become a cold dark and black dwarf. Our sun will someday turn into a white dwarf and then a black dwarf. The companion of Sirius is a white dwarf. Brown dwarf A brown dwarf is a star whose mass is too small to have nuclear fusion occur at its core. The temperature and pressure at its core are insufficient for fusion. A brown dwarf is not very luminous. It's usually regarded as having a mass between 10 to the power 28 kg and 84 into 10 to the power 28. Neutron star A neutron star is a very small super dense star which is composed mostly of tightly packed neutrons. It has a thin atmosphere of hydrogen. It has a diameter of about 5 to 10 miles 5 to 16 km and a density of roughly 10 to the power 15 gram by centimeter power 3. Pulsar A pulsar is rapidly spinning neutron star that emits energy is pulsars. If you don't know what is pulsars, click on the i button. I given a link on a i button. So friends, that's all for this video. If you like this video, press like button and share this video to all your friends and families. Thanks for watching this full video. If you new in our channel, press subscribe button and press bell icon to get all new videos. That's all for this video. We'll meet in next video.
फॉर द टाइम जय हिंद जय भारत